And you talk to your mother like that? Like you tough? Do you think you tough, little man? Talk to me like you talk to your mother. Talk to me. You think you're tough, don't you? Boss up on me. Cuss me out. Tell me you ain't going to do what I say do. I dare you. I dare you. You ain't going to do it to me? Why you do it to her? We interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. Like she crazy, cursing at her, telling her what you won't do. You won't clean your room. You won't do what you want to do. And you talk to your mother like that? Like you tough? Do you think you tough, little man? Talk to me like you talk to your mother. Talk to me. You think you tough, don't you? Boss up on me. Cuss me out. Tell me you ain't gonna do what I say do. I dare you. I dare you. You ain't gonna do it to me? Why you do it to her? Why you talk to her disrespectfully? Why? Little boy, answer me. Why do you talk to your mother disrespectfully? You don't know why you do it. Today I'm gonna help you find out why. And today it ends. Today it ends. Do you understand? You will not call your mother out of her name ever again. Woo! <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hey, I remember getting chopped out like this as a kid. And this just goes to show fathers are so important in young men's lives specifically um, and even young women's lives because I'm gonna tell you right now I've been saying this since the beginning of time women single mothers you know you guys cannot discipline children you guys are not di good disciplinaries I told you guys before a 10 year old boy will beat the snot out of his mom unfortunately I, I mean that's just the reality so she can't lay down the law because she does not have any physical dominion over that child. The only thing that she has over him is saying, hey, I'm your mama, do what I say. And look, a child should respect their parents, both parents, and a child should respect his mother. But I'm telling you right now, children buck, okay? And they're going to do what they want to do if they think that they can get away with it. And over time, he realized that, hey, I can get away with it. He, the, probably the first time he cussed his mama out and she didn't whip him or she tried to whip him and he grabbed the belt, you know, in mid-swing, that's when she realized, oh, I'm in some trouble. I thought I didn't need a man, but now this boy is 10, 11 years old and he tossing me around like a rag doll and he talking to me like he's the man that I left, okay? So um, uh, what these women need to realize is that you definitely need a man, especially when rearing children. Now, you can get lucky and have some male role models like this in your life, but most of these young males do not have role, mo role models like this in their life who will you know, come in and scare them straight. So these men, these types of men are few and far between, and these are the big step dad A type dudes, except if, if, if this guy started dating his mama, and he became big stepdaddy. He still wouldn't have that that real genuine authority over that child if the woman doesn't give him full reins to put hands and feet on that child. See, I grew up in an era where your camp counselors could put hands and feet on the children. All right. I remember when uh, I got in a fight at camp, at summer camp, and the camp counselor called my dad and asked if she had permission to whip me. All right. So and, and, and she damn sure did, but my dad was around the corner, so he, you know, did her a favor and spared her, <laughs> you know, the um, the effort. But, uh, and yes, I did get whipped that day. Well, did I? Yeah, I think I did. But um, anyways, like I said, see, 
a lot of these single mothers just think that they could do it on their own and y'all are ruining these young men um and and a lot of y'all are leaving good men let's keep it a buck okay because not everybody is a deadbeat let's 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 really be real about this not everybody's a deadbeat i know for a fact you looking in this camera you right there if you're a lady and you are a single mom i know for a fact you left a good man stop the cap oh well he wasn't good because he didn't let me go to the club no that is good okay he was looking out for your best interest and your safety and trying to keep you honest like he did when he tried to marry you and you denied him okay see a lot of women aren't telling the full story here yes they love telling the deadbeat story they love telling the story of all this and, and even with the deadbeat story there were red flags beforehand all right um and they still decided to have that man's children even when he said told them verbatim that hey you know i'm not ready to be the father they still went through with it but they're you know a, a aborting beta brad's child so i mean you have all of these scenarios going on especially in the community specifically the black community all right this is a, a common occurrence and thankfully this brother is was able to come and you know put some discipline on this child i wish he could have put hands on him um because a lot of kids they're not gonna get in until they get the grasp of a grown man okay holding their arms like with his veins popping out and he grabbing their arms and he like you ain't gonna talk to your goddamn mama like that boy what you gonna say to your mama man <laughs> you ain't gonna say that to me see he needs that he needs that but once this man leaves unfortunately he might talk to his mama greasy oh yeah that that ninja ain't here no more okay it's just you and me all right and he could be a demented kid like that. There are a lot of demented kids out there. From his demeanor, dealing with this grown man, um, he doesn't seem demented to me. He just seems like a kid who's, um, you know, in over his head trying to talk to his mom any type of way. But there are some demented children out here, especially in the community, and they will shoot you. I, I just read a report about the six-year-old boy who shot that white teacher. I forgot where it was. Could have been in Virginia, but he shot her. And the reports came out that what he said afterwards, he said, I just shot that B word dead. Okay. Six year old boy brought a strap to school, thought he shot his teacher dead. She wasn't dead. She, she was alive. But I'm telling you right now, some of these kids become demons at a very young age. So it is important for them to get that discipline from a man, a real man, um, not some beta Brad who's just, you know, letting them do whatever he wants to do but a real man, all right, to uh, implement that discipline because you're going to be scared of this big old bald head man, all right? As a kid, you are definitely scared. I mean, a lot of kids are scared to look a, a grown man in the eyes, let alone um, let alone to, to have him this close in your face, a man that's not biological to you. I mean, even when your dad gets in your face, uh, you know, it, it, it it's scary as a child. So, um thankfully this mom this single mom realized that she did need a man even though she doesn't have to sleep with this man he did it for free and you know that that means that she's blessed to have a community around her maybe she went to church and you know whatever or maybe he's a coach or some PE teacher or something like that but he knows how to talk to kids he knows how to lay down the law with children without being physical without cursing at them and i mean this was this was a masterful performance by this man and, uh, you know, shout out to the single mom who realized that she could not raise this child alone and that she is going to need a man to come and discipline that behind, okay? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Send your relationship request to email down below with a screenshot of your catch up so I know you're paying your ties, man. Y'all need to be on your mark for getting with the BS. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.